Welcome everyone. We are here today with class number three on uh, our electroculture series with Yannick Van Dorn. And today we're going to be covering the topic of Irish round towers and paramagnetic round towers. Welcome Yannick. Hello Angela. Hello everybody. <laughs> so uh, I will present today the round towers. Uh, we call them also sometimes the energy towers or the paramagnetic round towers or the Irish round towers, because it's inspired from the round towers we can find in Ireland. So um, like you see on the image, how it looks like, it's uh, uh, like in my garden, it's like a round tower made of a tube with, with a cone on top of it. It can also be a rock. And it's related to, um, we will see the Schumann resonance or the Schumann frequencies that a lot of people are talking about and uh, from the earth. And uh, that is linked with, uh, with uh, stormy weather or thunderstorms that are, uh, that are everywhere on the world or almost everywhere. And that it's like kind of a heartbeat of the earth. It's like those towers will connect us to uh, the heartbeat of the earth if we we can we can see it like this and it will increase like this the energies the electromagnetic energies around us that are very beneficial for for life so we will see that a little more in detail how it works from where uh, we 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 know that and that research and um, and how to do uh, so some simple as that so <laughs> So we will look uh, about the history. We will look about, uh, we will, uh, uh, I will talk a little bit about Phil Callahan that is really the pioneer that makes uh, us uh, understand and discover those round towers. And uh, we will talk about the scientific principles and operations or, or, the, or the bit we know about this <laughs> and um, how to install and some testimonials, uh, some results, because it's uh, what we uh, what we like to see in our gardens. <laughs> so from where comes it? You see on the right and on the left uh, pictures from uh, round towers in Ireland. So it's uh, in Ireland, you find like this around uh, 70 to 80 round towers. Uh, they are quite well uh, preserved, uh, but over time there were they 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 were um, uh, many times uh, restored. So sometimes they changed a little bit over time uh, because they are very old. They come from the years six hundreds to thousand after Jesus Christ in history. That that that's what archaeology is is. Uh, explaining us and you see uh, on the left uh, an image of like a round tower and close another round tower with like it's like a church well probably those round towers are previous to the churches and uh, they were with time transformed like uh, to uh, churches uh, so it's it's uh, maybe uh, uh previous buildings to churches probably huh? but uh, we we don't uh we are not really sure <clears throat> but you can find a lot of um similar uh construction construction principles between uh, churches and the towers of the churches also and some temples in the world and those round towers and not only the churches but also Round towers you can find in Iran, in in uh, in Afghanistan, in India, in Sri Lanka, or almost everywhere in the world. And in, in yeah, so we will see that more. So here it's uh, an example of a round tower in Belgium on the left. Uh, there is only one in Belgium, but uh, uh, it was built uh, very similar to the one in uh, in Ireland. Huh? And you see the beautiful landscape with a uh, rainbow. Uh, so maybe it's not a hazard. <laughs> uh, and that's a book on, on the right. You see a book from Borayan Lelor that um, 
that has uh, uh, made like a, a wall study about the round towers and and it's really an interesting book if you want to uh, explore the origins and the architecture of the round towers of, of the original ones in uh, Ireland huh? um, so we continue in the timeline of electroculture uh, so round towers like we we were telling was uh, were built around 600 2000 after Jesus Christ before them you have also those uh, the the pyramids and you will see in, in next presentations I, when I will talk about the pyramids that there are a lot of links also with the pyramids uh, we we find the similar angles in the construction of the cone of the top of the round towers and the pyramids uh, we find also uh, similar uh, construction in the materials uh, because for example in the big pyramid of egypt you have inside above the king's chamber you have like a granite layers of paramagnetic rock it's like the pyramid covers a round tower uh, it's not round, but it's like a tower of 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 paramagnetic rock, and uh, the round towers are also made of paramagnetic rock. And so, uh, in the forties, uh, then uh, Phil Callahan um, uh, discovered how round towers can have an influence on on uh, on plant growth, and this this gives the idea to farmers to uh, use to build round towers in their fields to help uh, plant growth in the 40s and Phil Callahan continued to promote that idea through his books in the 70s 80s 90s and now it's like a widespread uh, not so widespread but uh, there, there were some uh, experiments in Australia New Zealand uh, and with me uh, since uh, 2010 around 2010 I, I i began to build round towers in fields and in gardens um uh, through my uh, workshops and um and uh, now we have uh, several years of of experience testimonials uh with really very good results and it's like every year we discover a little bit more how it works how to improve uh to make it work and uh and now we have really very very good results so it, it's like the last uh, 10 years that there is like a revival in the understanding of the round towers and that it develops itself uh, very fast uh, in the world i think uh, uh, mostly in the beginning in france but now we are talking now <laughs> to uh to to canada and <laughs> So uh, I think uh, there will be a lot of round towers in the next weeks in Canada. <laughs> so we continue. We we find back like uh, hieroglyphs like like this one in Egypt. Like uh, it's it's similar. It's it's like uh, they show uh, two round towers. So it's strange. Uh, when we look at the church, we have one round tower. It can be round or square. And uh, in cathedrals, for example, mostly there are two towers. And here you see two towers. So it's, it's very interesting. Uh, too. On the image on the right, we see uh, like a, a castle. But in reality, uh, it's also a round tower in uh, Ireland. And we see like a wall around. And that's very similar to a lot of castles we find in in uh, wall europe and also a lot in alsace where i live there are many castles like this on mountains uh, with a wall and a round tower inside and uh, maybe we, we don't really know why they build it like this uh, but uh, maybe it was not uh, to make war or or things like this but maybe it was to increase the energy all around or to, to increase uh, fertility or to be used like a center to uh, to uh, maybe energize their their seeds or their or their um, we we don't know uh, there, there are a lot of there is a lot of mysteries around around uh, those towers too uh, but 
we will discover some, uh, we will uh, understand some of those mysteries. Uh, so, so the standing stone is mostly also related to uh, the relation between Earth and the cosmos. And in most cases in the symbolism, we, we see the cosmos as the, the, the man aspect and the, the, the earth as the, as the, um, as the, as, as, as the mother and, and the cosmos as the father or the son as the father. So it's like when the two comes together, it creates fertility, it creates uh, growth, it creates uh, children in a certain way. Uh, so it's, it's like, uh, it's uh, it's like uh, uh, related to fertility, yeah. Uh, um, and uh, one thing that uh, goes that maybe proves this too is that on some round towers, they have found some some uh, some uh, carvings, some symbols of um, of uh, little uh, nah, some symbols that are really related to fertility. So uh, that's interesting. It's not just uh, a tower to make it nice. No, uh, there, it's, there's a real reason behind it uh, that they build this. And um, so it's related to fertility. So maybe it evolved like those stones of Phallus and then they made bigger stones like those standing stones, one of the biggest in, in England. And then uh, maybe it evolved, it's a hypothesis, uh, to those kind of round towers. There were also previous uh, to those round towers or the, the, the first of those round towers, the, their cap or their, their, yes, their hat was not uh, a cone like this. It was more round. So, and uh, that goes, it's maybe also a sign that uh, it's like a standing stone that they built with rocks maybe, uh, but improved. Huh? So we will continue. Um, and then in the years 1000, uh, a, 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 a Christian monks uh, came to Ireland and then they, the, the, uh, some things, or a lot of people uh, say in their books that the round towers were there already previously to the, to, to, uh, to, to, there, there was the round towers were there already previously uh the coming of of the, of 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 the christians uh, or maybe it's the christians that build it uh, we don't really know it depends on the sources of the books uh, but i think they were there already previously but the 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 monks they they uh, um, changed a little bit the building uh, that's a hypothesis from that we can read in some books, uh, and they made those uh, caps or their hats or the they made the cones on the round towers, and they also changed sometimes the the windows, uh, the form of the windows to make it more gothic like, um, and then uh, they built cemeteries, uh, monasteries around, and uh, like uh, little churches around too. And like you see on the white, uh, the symbol or the image of the Virgin Mary, it's also um, an image related to fertility. Uh, when we see it, the Virgin Mary, it's a mother, uh, comes from the earth, uh, and uh, she's looking to the sky. So it's, uh, it's again the relation between uh, the cosmos and the earth in a certain way and and a relation with the uh, spiritual aspects uh, so with uh, with spirituality here uh, here it is with here it is with with uh, with a christian belief but it's related with uh, uh, spiritual spirituality like we can find a similar uh, buildings uh, all over the world with other religions too. Huh? Mm. Those are the books from Phil Callahan. He is re really the main um, inspiration. Uh, and, and the, the, he is really the one that discovered uh, that the round towers have a huge effect on plant growth. And how did he discover this? 
um, he was a, a, an American technician based in Ireland during World War II, and he was responsible to entertain the or to preserve or to build the the radio antennas uh, for the communication with the soldiers and the submarines and the ships, and. Um, and so he had some time, some time also to look around and uh, see what happens. And he 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 observed that the local farmers uh, loved to go uh, close to those round towers with their with their sheep herds, and they they told that uh, the the grass was a lot better around those round towers. And then uh, he, he became very curious why. And then he had the idea to measure the radio frequencies uh, emitted by those round towers or absorbed or received. And then he discovered that they um, absorb very low radio frequencies of the earth. And um, that we call today uh, also the Schumann frequencies. But Schumann frequencies officially were discovered in the 50s and he discovered uh, already that kind of frequencies uh, from the earth uh, in the 40s uh, so it's interesting uh, maybe we can call them the callahan frequencies <laughs> uh, but um, it's very interesting uh, and he really discovered that those frequencies has has an important uh, influence on plant growth and then he began to do some little experiments on in, in pots with little round towers that we will see and that, that proved to him and to us uh, the effects on plant growth. So the, uh, the book I would advise, it's the, the first one is the, um, the one on the left, Ancient Mysteries, Modern Visions, The Magnetic Life of Agriculture. And then also paramagnetism and uh, nature's silent music. And there are there are three books. They are as interesting the the one and the other. They are really very interesting. Um, so we will continue. Uh, what he discovered too is that those round towers are all over Ireland in the same uh, mapping as the the stars at winter solstice above Ireland. So it's like they had already the GPS. Huh? So it's really mysterious how they could do that to put those round towers all around Ireland in the similar uh, uh, mapping as the stars. It's like it's in relation to the stars. And, and that we find back also with, uh, with the pyramids in Egypt uh, and the Milky Way. The Nile is, uh, represents the Milky Way and uh, the pyramids, the three biggest, uh, represents the three of the Orion uh, constellation. And uh, at the, and where there are other important stars, there is always also a temple or a pyramid. So it, it, it's not by hazard. And uh, here we have that same uh, ID, but uh, or that same um, uh, mapping, but with uh, the stars that are above Ireland at winter solstice. So it's very strange. Huh? Those round towers are all made with paramagnetic rock. Huh? So paramagnetic rock, it's a, twin, it's a characteristic that the rocks or those particles of those rocks are sensitive to the, to the magnetic field, to the earth magnetic field or to a static magnetic field. And in Ireland, it's mostly the north of Ireland that is made of paramagnetic rock from old volcanoes, from basalt uh, or other rocks from uh, the volcanoes. The, the south of Ireland is not really paramagnetic. And then they, they took a lot of rocks from the north to make the round towers in the south. So it's uh, really um, interesting that they really wanted to make it in paramagnetic rock and th that seems important and that's why we built uh, afterwards also the round towers with paramagnetic rock because otherwise we will not have uh, the same effects or, or so we try to inspire us from how the ancients built it mm. so we continue <clears throat> 
in very old images, like here from a book uh, in uh, 1820, where we see atmospheric antennas, like I showed you already uh, um, in the fields, we see also like a round tower in the village, uh, like you see. Uh, uh, very interesting too. Um, it's quite mysterious image, but it's the only image we can find where we see atmospheric antennas all over the fields and uh, and also that mysterious round tower in the in the village at the border of the village yeah. <clears throat> so when we look at the the round towers in ireland and their characteristics um, we see it's all made from paramagnetic basalt or certain granite or granite I, I don't know how to say it in english i think it's okay <laughs> and um, they are also hollow uh, um, and that, that's why you have also windows like uh, and the windows or the door uh, there, there is not really a door but there are like uh, openings like some windows not much one two three uh, and they are mostly uh, high up the round tower so they, they are not at, at the bottom you you cannot really go inside or you need to take uh, uh, to 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 climb or or to uh, take a ladder or something like this uh, um so it's not made to live in huh? um maybe it works like a, a tuning tube or like a flute or like a, 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 a tube from a wind chime uh, because those openings are mostly directed to the main wind direction so it's like when the wind will blow it will create maybe like a sound or vibration uh, maybe that can be important and that can also be an idea to improve that kind of round towers in our gardens and fields uh, uh, for the moment we didn't experiment with that uh, characteristic but uh, it's maybe something to explore also the angle of the of the cone on top is um, is 51 degrees uh, between 51 and 52 uh, like uh, the 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 angle we find in the Nubian pyramids uh, that are like in the south of Egypt and also that we can find back uh, almost all over the world too, and also the same angle as we find in the classic pyramid, but uh, on on the base between the base and the and the, and the and the flat side, it's also fifty one degrees. Huh? um so that's also interesting um so they are round hollow ah yes they are round circular also very interesting uh the pyramids are square and those towers are circular and when we look at the at the work for example of of uh, of patrick flanagan a genius uh that uh, studied a lot the pyramids at the end of his life uh, he say in his book that the cones are an evolution of pyramids and that they are even more powerful than pyramids so that's very interesting uh, because here we see uh, round towers uh, so there is also a lot to explore in that uh, area so we will continue um so like Phil Callahan, he discovered that those round towers receive uh, ultra low frequency radio waves. So those those radio waves, we, we live in those radio waves uh, uh, constantly. It's like part of, of our environment and uh, that we call today the Schumann waves. So every every time you have a thunder strike on Earth somewhere like uh, uh in rwanda or in the middle of africa or in the middle of brazil you have a lot of thunder strikes around the equator uh, almost every day a lot and 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 it creates like electromagnetic frequencies that will travel all around the earth constantly and um and those uh, frequencies are very beneficial for plant growth. Huh? I, I'm making a, a little book about this uh, to explain this because now there is a lot of uh, 
a lot as, as a big word, uh, not so much, but there is some scientific research about this, how it influences a uh, living organism and also our health and our, our psychological health too, and our brainwave activity. Um, so that's maybe why uh, our governments are very interested <laughs> Uh, to 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 look after those human waves and how it influences living organism because like they they like or they want to control our our thinking and thoughts uh, but um, and that's not what uh, interests us but what interests us is how it influences a plant growth and and it really influences all living organism and also plant growth and so. The round towers acts like an, amplif an amplifying antenna. So that's what uh, Phil Callahan also discovered. He, he created a little device uh, that uh, he put uh, like with a little uh, sensor on the round tower. And like this, he, he co connected to an, uh, um, to, uh, connected to an oscilloscope, he could measure the frequencies and he could measure, it amplifies uh, those frequencies. So we will continue. Ah, yes, the, the Schumann waves, like you see on the image below, it's not just one frequency, it's a multiple uh, uh, broadband of, of frequencies. Uh, you have like harmonics, you have like this, you have seven like you have the seven colors of the rainbow you have the seven notes in music uh, you have also seven uh, schumann uh, main uh, schumann frequencies so when when some people are, are telling how oh, the schumann frequencies is rising or things like that it's not really true and it's not really false too in reality they they there is a big variation every day um uh, around a, a, a middle main uh, Schumann frequency. And the, the variation of those frequencies in intensity and in frequency depends a lot, what we see in, in scientific articles, uh, from the activity of the sun, of the solar cycles and the, and the sunspot activity. And also the activity of uh, the electrical activity on Earth, like uh, thunder, storms, uh, uh, those kind of uh, earthquakes too. Um, uh, also the influence of the planets all around the earth. So uh, in, all, in our solar system will also influence the electricity on the earth. And so all those influences will influence the activity also of those round towers uh, indirectly like this. Uh, so it's those round towers are really connected to the cosmos in a certain way. Uh, it's really a kind of earth connection between the earth and the cosmos. Uh, so we continue. Uh, like we see, like I told it also in previous presentations, uh, but uh, it's important maybe to repeat to understand that this, we have two main uh, um, electromagnetic uh, uh, energies on earth. You have the magnetic energy like the earth is a giant magnet and you have also the electrical energy and the, an, an electrical field between the ionosphere and the, and the earth surface uh, and the round towers will will in reality be influenced by the those two energies not only the magnetic not only the electrical field but also uh, the two but and also the radio frequencies of the earth and the Schumann frequencies like we, we told. And on the bottom you see that image of uh, our brain and, and uh, human and the planet earth. Uh, that's really interesting drawing because an example when when uh, people go in a pyramid it's proven that they will uh, that it will increase the intensity of the Schumann waves in their brainwave activity. We, we, we have similar, our brain waves works in, this, in the same band of frequencies as the Schumann waves. So that's why it really influences a lot our brainwave activity. And also 
uh, uh, people that are like more connected to nature to uh, to uh, inspiration to intuition to uh, that really feels a lot better what is happening in a certain way well when you, when you look at their brainwave activity uh, they discovered that they have a, a lot more activity also around those Schumann frequencies so around 7.83 hertz that is very important for this and so the 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 round towers in reality will increase that all around and there are some testimonials that for example children or even adults uh, but uh, children uh, it's it's more uh, obvious or uh, it's 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 it shows uh, i think uh, we, we uh, they, they express themselves a lot more they 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 are a lot more they are a lot more a, a creative they are a lot more creative around and they like to play around those towers i can say you in my garden my children always are around those towers or they, they want to build one or they want to do like their father <laughs> and they, they 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 really like that um so it's not by hazard and the pyramids too if you build a little pyramid and you put uh some branches around or they make uh that they they love to play uh, with, with pyramids and round towers um, so it's they they feel good uh and we too and also it stimulates uh telepathy uh, there are there are uh, people uh that i i hear some testimonials from italy where they built also a lot uh round towers and um also some build them with uh, silicium sand but silicium is not paramagnetic but it has also uh, interesting effects huh? uh and uh, round towers and only silicium sand they, they also uh, discovered that it really stimulates also creativity and and telepathy huh? so it's really uh interesting too uh, but that's something um uh, a side effect that it's uh, welcome <laughs> uh, uh, it's like we are also more connected to the earth to our plants uh, uh, if if we believe in the communication with plants it's uh, we we will maybe be more able to feel uh, to ask uh, uh, through our um, uh, yeah, through our uh, conscious mind and unconscious mind uh, uh, what the plants need and maybe we will have uh, intuition and inspiration more easily around those round towers uh, to know what they really need to grow well so we continue um, that's an image I, I made with uh, with my graphist uh, to illustrate uh, an experiment uh, from uh, from a scientific article uh, where you see the the photo on the top on the right where they use like a round tower with a ball like structure on it and a, a metal plate on the on on the surface of the earth and uh, with that kind of structure and some uh, measurement devices they could measure the schumann waves so that's what we are talking about and uh, it's kind of um, device to measure the Schumann waves, and that and it was so sensitive that they could that they could measure even when a cloud passed by above the tower. They could measure the fluctuation of the electrical fields uh, j just uh, because of a cloud is passing by uh, above the tower. Um, that's very interesting uh, because uh, uh, in my uh, hypothesis um, the plants will grow better when you have clouds passing by than when you have completely blue sky and no change because fluctuations is is a movement movement of energies and the the more you have movement the better it is if it's static if if you if the things are static the um, it don't grow so well we always need a, a relaxation times to 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 stimulate uh health and uh, energy and um 
So that, that's knowledge from alternative medicine and things like that. <laughs> uh, but we can inspire a lot. I inspire me a lot from that those fields and for and then I transpose in agriculture. And so uh, uh, when we have an antenna like that kind of antenna in in uh, in, um, in that scientific article, we, we, we must know that everything that is an antenna that can receive can also emit. emit. There, there's no such an, an antenna that only receives that doesn't exist. An, uh, an antenna that only emits that doesn't exist. It always do the, the two. It's like our eyes, for example. We think our eyes only receive light and we measure light and, and we see things. In reality, our eyes works also like a laser that emits <laughs> and and that, that was proven also but that's uh, another topic but in reality everything every uh every antenna that uh receive can also uh, also emits and and vice versa and so why i tell that because that tower uh if it's really made tuned to receive more optimal Schumann waves, it will also emit uh, more easily Schumann waves, you see? And so it's interesting that that one tower made as an antenna in science is very similar to a uh, classic round tower from uh, the old times uh, from Ireland. So uh, very interesting. So we continue. <laughs> Uh, here you see an experiment uh, on radishes. Uh, I don't remember exactly in which book or article I found that, but uh, uh, um, you see uh, a little pot with radishes and a little round tower. And at the right, a little pot without a round tower, and you see huge difference in, uh, in the growth of the radishes. So that's a little experiment uh, that shows uh, the power of, of that kind of, of energies huh? uh, and also that uh, there are other energies that are very important for the growth of plant above all the classic ones all the classic influences like light water uh, heat nutrition nutrition in the earth and 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 uh, and cow dung and, and whatever. So you have also those uh, electromagnetic frequencies that are very important for plant growth. Mm. Um, so what can we expect from round towers? Uh, I can see, ah, you will see in, 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 uh, in other pictures that you can increase the harvest by 30 to 100%. It depends on the plants. Not all plants will react 100%. Uh, other will be only 30% uh, increase. Maybe others uh, don't, don't really react, uh, maybe. But in, in, in the most plants, for the most plants in the garden, you will see really huge results. I have some mint that is like, that every year become uh, between one meter 50 and one meter 80 uh, tall. Uh, so uh, and it's uh, in the inf in the range of influence of those round towers. Uh, so it's really amazing. Uh, it will also increase the resistance to climatic stress, humidity, cold, frost, heat. Uh, for example, in my garden, uh, since I've put round towers, um, my grass stays really very green. Uh, uh, even when uh, there there is drought, uh, the last years there there was uh, many uh, very drought years, uh, very dry years, and uh, uh, almost every year it stays very green. Even if I never give a water to the to the grass uh, in my garden, uh, it stays very green in comparison with the grass a little further or close to my uh, or to my neighbors where it become yellow <laughs> when it's uh, very dry. Huh? Um, also, uh, it's the first year this year that I had to um, to uh, to take the 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 law uh, the the, uh, the 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 uh, the 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 that I had to take the grass mower. Is is that the name? 
to, to cut off the grass on 8 January. Uh, so we, we had already we had already in December or November like minus 10 and things like that, but the grass was still growing. And uh, I was thinking, well, it's, it's really too too big now in my garden. I need to, to, to cut the grass. It was the first year I did that in my whole life in January <laughs> uh, because otherwise it, it was too, too big. Uh, so the grass really uh, grows very well. And uh, like, you know, in Ireland, you have a lot of grass. <laughs> so it's uh, good for the grass, that's for sure. And um, uh, uh, it will also increase the resistance to disease of all plants. Uh, so uh, that, that's also interesting. And so when you increase the, the quality, the resistance, it's also the, the, it's also the nutrient content, the, the sugar content in your uh, fruit and vegetables that will be increased. Uh, the plant size too. So the plants will uh, really be uh, bigger in most cases, uh, but also more dense, uh, with more density, with more nutritious value. Um, also, it creates a more peaceful environment. Huh? We we really feel, uh, I would say, more peaceful. Uh, maybe that's probably because of those Schumann uh, frequencies. Um, also, probably because it it's like it harmonizes and increases the Schumann frequencies. It it con it helps us to connect to nature or to our environment. Like you know, all electromagnetic pollution uh, tend to disconnect us. So it's very good, even if you don't have a round tower, to just uh, put a round tower just for your uh, for your own balance and for the environment, and not only yours but also of the, your whole neighborhood. Huh? Um, I have even round towers around my computer because there's a lot of electromagnetic pollution with all that electronic stuff. And then I have round towers, uh, cones uh, all around <laughs> here in my, at my desk. <laughs> uh, so, so now some examples. Huh? Here you see uh, a round tower built uh, with just uh, two uh, clay or ceramic tubes with the rock on top. And it's completely filled with basalt uh, rock. And uh, you see uh, Kohlrabi, uh, it was an Austrian uh, farm and uh, in, in Salzburg. And uh, uh, he, 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 he told me uh, that in a radius of 60 meters around, so it's like uh, uh, 180 uh, feet around or even a little bit more around, uh, they, he had those big kohlrabis like you see on the white huh? and uh, further than 60 meters around uh, all the kohlrabi were a little like the one on the left so it was really a huge difference huh? uh, it, and, and, and really well um, uh, all, all, it was also with a clear limit at 60 meters around his tower so it, it was uh, uh, you see that the tower like this can have it an influence on 60 meters. Now, now with experience, we know that uh, sometimes it will maybe be only uh, 20, 30 meters. And uh, at other places, if well done or better done, maybe it will be 60 meters. Uh, 60 meters for one meter 50 high, it's quite uh, the maximum you can expect. If you want uh, a big influence, a bigger area, you have to make a, a bigger tower or you have to put more towers. Uh, so that was the, the first big uh, testimonial I received and that I saw with my own eyes. And that, uh, that was uh, around 2011 or 12 um, in Austria when I, I did uh, um, workshops uh, there. I was very happy, naturally. Yeah. <laughs> um, here, that's uh, on the white. You see another example in the garden of, of where I've put also a round tower in a garden of 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 of, of a friend, uh, half an hour living, half an hour from my place, 
and you see also huge uh, sunflowers. It's like sunflowers react very uh, positively also to the energy of round towers. Um, I have another friend that had uh, three years in a row the the record uh, the the like the Guinness Book of World Records, but there it's the record in France. Uh, of the biggest uh, sunflower from uh, 2019 to 2022. He has uh, already every year the, the biggest sunflower and he used a lot the round towers too. Yeah? So that's an image, for example, on the, on the left. And uh, he is not alone in reality. Most of my uh, customers and friends that use uh, uh, and in the electroculture networks that use uh, the round towers uh, have uh, very good results on their sunflowers. Uh, another example, that's a guy, uh, Mehdi Dao. It's, he is very famous in France uh, because he, he do uh, records of, of uh, a lot of vegetables every year since 10, 20 years already. And uh, he had, he, he like uh, the pumpkins uh, and he make like giant pumpkins. Uh, he had already the, the record of France uh, several years in a row. And last year and two years ago, he put round towers uh, that we offered him uh, for his greenhouse. And in the beginning, he didn't really believe or he was just curious. And, uh, and then he put those towers, uh, like you see, it's quite little towers. Uh, they are even not so big uh, uh, in, the, in the greenhouse. And he, he, uh, he increased his personal record by 100 kilos. In the past, it was like, in the 700 kilos, the maximum he had, and that year in 2021, uh, or he had like 897 kilos of uh, pumpkin. And last year too, he had also around uh, that kind of, of uh, mass uh, of, of, uh, of uh, kilos uh, uh, for his pumpkin. And he also saw that the roots of, the, of his pumpkin he, he planted his pumpkin five meters away from the round tower. And he saw that the, the roots were growing to the, to the round tower. And they, after a, a few weeks, they, they had the roots uh, uh, until under the round tower. It's like they are attracted by uh, the energy of the round tower. And that's also what we see with the uh, earth magnetic antenna that I already talked about uh, with the wire is that the roots of the plants are like attracted to, to it and uh, to, to the wire and uh, they, then they grow uh, to the wire and then they follow the wire to the north. It's very strange. Uh, it's, it shows that it has really a big influence on the plant growth. So. Uh, so again, uh, that's from uh, newspaper articles. Also interesting that his uh, record of last year uh, was published on 2 October 2022, a lot of twos. And, uh, and 2 October is also um, a date that is uh, lost in, in Christianity because they want to, uh, to hide it, maybe because of that... Um, infiltrations in in the in the <laughs> in the church uh, and in the but uh, it's um it's uh, uh, a date uh, to um uh, to to uh, to make a, a, a feast uh, around uh, the angels uh? <laughs> so uh, it's it's an angel day you have the 29 September, I think it's the day of uh, uh, Saint Michael, uh, that uh, and uh, the two it's uh, our garden angels and the angels in in general. Uh, but uh, uh, the uh, the angels or those invisible um, uh, forces uh, we could say um, are of huge importance um, in uh, in spirituality. Yeah. Uh, uh, and so that's very interesting that it's the same day. Uh, it's a synchronicity. <laughs> Here you see on the picture on bottom, the round tower in the back of the picture on the right. Uh, you see it here. And uh, Medida always and uh, always very positive. And uh, that's also very important 
to for plant growth. It's our own energy. Uh, all those antennas uh, are also antennas with our own consciousness and energies. Huh? So, uh, and you see that he loves his plants, and that's really uh, uh, what is the most important, I would say, huh? above all those uh, antennas and towers that are also very interesting, but that are in reality tools to help us, uh, but uh, it's our own mindset and 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 uh, loving energy that are really the most important. <clears throat> ah, here an example of um, of the mint I was talking about. Uh, uh, here in that image was around uh, one meter seventy. Uh, on the right, you see the raspberries, like two meter fifty high, uh, with the raspberries a lot bigger. I have raspberries at different places in my garden and uh, the raspberries that were a lot further away, they had very little raspberries and uh, and the ones close to the round towers were really big raspberries. Mm. Uh, here another example of plants growing in, my, that was two years ago, uh, a huge sunflower that was with a head of more than 70 centimeters, that is also the French record. But we were several electroculture gardeners that had such uh, results. And um, and also tobacco plant that became really huge, like more than three meters high are uh, really huge. Um, the energy about round towers sometimes uh, manifests itself in the lights. Uh, uh, on, the, on the left, that was one of the first round towers I built. Uh, with a friend from Germany and we see like a violet light on top of it and that was a real a photograph uh, uh, and, and yes uh, and, and and it was only around the round tower that we had that effect and on the right uh, you see uh, like uh, rainbow colors uh, around the round towers but that was that was a photograph made with a filter that uh, diffract uh, light to make rainbow colors. And, and sometimes then you can see uh, specific subtle energies when you see a lot of those rainbow colors around the structure. It's sometimes a sign that there is really a special kind of energy. Uh, um, so very interesting. Mm -hmm. um, how to install how to install here you see the tower um, like i installed in the wall beginning in my garden uh, it was just a a, a, a ceramic uh, tube like this uh, uh, or a clay tube uh, but uh, baked clay but uh, high type baked clay so it's called ceramic uh, why because when clay is baked it becomes a little bit more paramagnetic. Huh? So that's uh, probably uh, why it, it's also interesting also. I like also to use the most as possible natural materials. So a lot of people ask me, ah, can I use uh, plastic tubes? Uh, maybe it will work, maybe not. I don't really know. I never did it and I don't want to do it. <laughs> I don't like, a, I would not like a plastic tube in my garden. Uh, it's a, I don't want to live in a, in a waste bin or something like that with plastic around. No, I try to avoid uh, plastic in my, my garden and use only natural materials, the mostly. Huh? Uh, also, why I use that kind of tube? It's because the like i showed you the first uh, testimonial i had from a, a farmer was with that kind of tube so then i use uh, also that kind of tube um, uh, because when you have a winning situation you try to do uh, the same <laughs> to have uh, results and every time you will change a little bit uh, the way uh, it works, uh, it's a risk that it will work less good or better. So it's it's a new experiment, I say always. Uh, so, um, but over time we improved it. Huh? We, we, I will tell you uh, what kind of improvements we did since 10 years. Uh, but the, the basic uh, 
was a clay tube like this. And then uh, I've put a rock. Uh, that's a kind of granite that I found uh, locally here. Why granite? My idea uh, was also because in granite, you have a lot of crystals, different crystals. And uh, my idea was also to have that point effect, the communication through the crystals with the cosmos, uh, to have like that communication with the uh, electromagnetic waves of the cosmos and the energies, the subtle energies. That was uh, my first idea to use that kind of, of uh, rock. And, uh, and so then I will not use, for example, um, lime uh, stone because limestone is not uh, not much crystals inside uh, and uh, it's not paramagnetic uh, so it's better to use uh, paramagnetic rock or basalt or granite uh. um, so i've made it uh, the classic tubes that you can easily handle alone by hand that are not too much uh, weighty and not, not too much uh, uh heavy uh too too heavy or around one meter 50 high and 20 centimeters diameter outside diameter you can also find tubes like this that are a lot bigger and higher but then you need machines to move them uh, otherwise it's too heavy so it makes it all more complicated uh, so it's more easy to use that kind of tube and to put uh, more of those tubes if you want to to uh, to cover huge areas than to use big tubes and to need uh, machines to uh, to move them and they're also a lot more expensive if you you uh, take uh, bigger tubes uh, i fill them with basalt so basalt is the rock uh, the main rock from volcanoes from the inside shaft of the volcano uh, it's when the magma uh, becomes cold, it, it, uh, it becomes a basalt rock. Uh, lava is uh, the rock when the, the magma comes out of the volcano and when it's in, in, in a reaction with the atmosphere, with the air, with the oxygen, then it becomes lava. The structure is, is different than basalt, it's all different. Um, but uh, lava can also be used if it's paramagnetic. Huh? Uh, but lava is not always paramagnetic. Huh? Uh, so it's better to use basalt to be sure. Basalt is almost always paramagnetic, uh, but some are a lot more than others. Um, and also in basalt, mostly you have a lot of silicium. And silicium is also a very interesting uh, material. Um, uh, uh because of his um, of the crystals that has that have communication uh possibilities uh, like uh, you have in electronics you have quartz crystals in in uh in clocks or in the computers or, or uh, uh, because uh, you have that piezoelectrical effects uh, effect um when you make a round tower like this, you can see that also like a huge quartz crystal in your garden. Uh, uh, it's like you you make uh, it's like you put a quartz crystal of one meter fifty high, <laughs> because uh, 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 in in reality, yeah. So it's it's very it's very huge. It's really p p pulsating. Yeah? Um, and then I cover. So I fill the wall tower uh, with basalt and then I cover it with that rock or I make a hat in a made of a cone huh? or, or uh, and to make that cone I will show you later in the presentation how to do that hmm. <clears throat> ah, here are some drawings of different ways you can do it uh, on the left it's how I just explained it uh, with the tube uh, I as the basalt is connected the tube is open on the bottom and is connected with the earth it's good to con to put the the tower on um on um, on the energy of water of water uh, if if you put the tower uh, anywhere any place you will also have effects but it will work a lot better if you put it at certain uh, points, energy points, 
uh, that uh, like if you look uh, for water with dousing rods uh, at those places, uh, it will also be good to put uh, the round tower. Uh, we, we observe that it's uh, uh, maybe related with water. It's like it will connect the water from the earth with the water of the sky, of the, of the cosmos. Uh, we observe that when we fill it with basalt and it's on a, on a water uh, point or source or well or whatever, uh, the water will, will, through electrosmosis, go up to the top of the tower in around two weeks. Uh, and you can inc increase or accelerate that effect by giving water at the bottom of the tower or around the tower. It's like it make a connection between uh, the energy of the earth and the sky. I, I felt that it worked really a lot better when the inside is humid. If, it, if you make a tower in summertime and everything is very dry, uh, it can be interesting to put a bucket of water inside the tower <laughs> to 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 make uh, all the basalt uh, uh, humid uh, to the to the earth, and then it will stay humid uh, always. It will never dry out. Uh, but basalt has that characteristic that it will attract water. We observed also that it's like those towers attract uh, rain. Uh, sometimes we observe that it rain more close to those towers. So it's maybe not a hazard that in Ireland it rains uh, more than uh, at other places. Uh, probably it's maybe also related to, to those round towers. So on the second uh, tower on the image, you see you can use uh, pieces of, of uh, like uh, to make a ch 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 chimney like to make a chimney uh, uh, with clay uh, uh, tubes like this parts that you put uh, on above each other. And on the third image, you see uh, that you can close it with just a rock. And on the fourth image on the right, that's a, a little tower we made. We, we make uh, that is a mixture of cement and, uh, and basalt. Huh? But you can also use a mixture of limestone and basalt. Uh, it's just to hold the basalt together. Huh? You can you can also make a, a, a big tower like this huh? uh, with with uh, cement and basalt. Huh? Uh, it's possible also. Huh? Mm -hmm. Then we use around forty to fifty percent cement. Uh, fifty percent is maybe too much, uh, but uh, we try to use a maximum of basalt. Uh, and uh, and the cement is just to hold it all together. Huh? Yeah. Here you see an image on top about how maybe uh, the energies flows uh, between the cosmos and the and the round tower and the earth. Uh, the electrical energy or the electrons and the water also that follows the electrons electrosmosis, they will go from the earth through the round tower uh, to the top. So the, it will be like an electrical electron flow from the bottom to the top. Uh, so it will like uh, you will have an acupuncture needle in your garden uh, to, to stimulate the energies. Uh, it, it's maybe a little bit like this. Um, but it will also work as a receiver, like an antenna of electromagnetic waves from uh, thunder, like I show, and human waves, uh, like I show on the image on the left, and also influenced uh, by uh, the planets and, and the sun uh, a lot, and, and cosmic uh, frequencies probably from the stars. And, and uh, But that's very mysterious. We don't really know, but... Uh, probably, uh, for sure, there, there are influences. We have also to know that Schumann frequencies, for example, are very uh, weak or of very weak intensity. So, uh, so the, the, the scientific uh, research, for example, about Schumann frequencies, they need to go uh, in areas where there is very little electromagnetic pollution to be able to measure them because they are so weak 
that the electromagnetic pollution covers the Schumann frequencies. And then uh, the scientific people go uh, to the mountains or to, uh, or to, um, uh, so, so they go to, to the mountains or to Antarctica or to uh, uh, areas or in the, in the desert uh, to be able to measure them uh, with a better quality and to be not disturbed uh, with uh, the electromagnetic pollution. But like we see, there are maybe very weak intensity, but they have huge influence on our health and the health of uh, plants uh, and the growth of plants. So it's not because something is, has very weak frequencies that it doesn't have huge effects on uh, living organism and on fertility. Uh, so, and it's also not because we will increase it that it will improve, but probably. And the idea also, or the problem is that that electromagnetic uh, pollution all around us uh, will uh, prevent our bodies and plants to connect to the Schumann waves. Uh, in the past, they evolved thousands of years and millions of years without all that electromagnetic pollution. And now uh, 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 humankind invented all that kind of uh, electromagnetic pollution that disturbs all life on, on uh, planet Earth. Huh? For, for me, it's really a more huge problem than, uh, than the chemical pollution. Because chemical pollution, uh, it's more easy to uh, clean uh, than... Uh, uh, well, electromagnetic pollution is also easy to clean in a certain way. We just uh, need to cut off the electricity. <laughs> but but uh, uh, when uh, we are in that pollution, it's not easy to uh, survive or to uh, be not uh, to protect us from it. And the, the round towers uh, will increase a little bit those uh, Schumann waves that will make, and my hypothesis is that it will uh, make that the living organism will be again uh, 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 able uh, to uh, to receive the Schumann frequencies that they could not. It's like you have um, it's like you have a little uh, uh, a little uh, candle light, uh, but if if there is too much other lights around, you don't see the light of the candle. But if you just uh, increase Increase a little bit the light of the candle, you see it again. <laughs> and so uh, probably it's maybe like this. It's when you increase a little bit the Schumann waves, uh, again, a uh, living organism can again hear it in a certain way and can again uh, uh, be tuned to it and, and tune itself to it. And then uh, it, it will again be like a heartbeat that will uh, be a guide uh, for our cells and plant cells and microorganisms to uh, to be again connected to each other and to uh, work again with uh, all natural energies. I see it like this, and um, you see on the on the bottom. That's another image uh, that we also can explore. That that uh, um, I believe is important, but I, I need to explore it. Is that maybe the high of the tower is important to to uh, uh because maybe uh the the size of the tower is important maybe or the certain proportions to be in resonance with uh, certain uh, frequencies of the earth uh, so uh, because like uh, radio antennas when you have specific sizes you can we uh, receive more specific frequencies. Uh, so, and probably uh, uh, maybe it's in more better in resonance with human frequencies. Human frequencies have a very large uh, size, uh, have a very uh, big length of frequency of, of uh, the, the, the waveform and the wave of a human frequency. It's, it's, it's a very low frequency. And so, it's a very huge uh, wavelength. Uh, yes, it's a very huge wavelength. So, uh, so it's uh, interesting to. Uh, hmm. um, 
here that's how it's the towers are built in Ireland you see uh it's made of rocks like this with uh, earth at the bottom maybe it was used like a tuning pile and a, a tuning uh the earth uh, that you can if you put more earth or less it makes the hollow tube uh bigger or less big in size uh, so it, maybe you can tune like you tune uh, a tube of of a wind chime or flute um and then the rocks also the mortar used in between the rocks uh, that's what phil callahan explains they found back uh uh like uh, a certain blood from from animals and blood is very rich in iron and uh, and uh, that will oxidize it oxidize and like make rust and this is very paramagnetic so uh, it's maybe to continue that paramagnetic uh, characteristic from the rocks and in between. Uh, uh, that's what gives the idea also to make them in cement uh, and to mix them also with uh, uh, iron uh, oxides. Uh, that's why my round towers that I make, uh, lit the little ones are red, it's because I put some iron oxides in, in it also. But it works also without the iron oxide uh, because the, the basalt is already also uh, paramagnetic. Eh? So if you make cement with basalt, it's, it works already. Uh, so that can give an idea uh, for further improvements. But to make it like this, it's more complicated uh, than the, the way we make it. And that give also very good results eh? um, in our group. Here, that's tubes we can find in Europe, but you can find that also in Canada and US. It's uh, uh, the, the, this is also made in, in those countries. Uh, in the past, they used that kind of tube for the evacuation of wastewater mostly. And uh, now they replace it a lot with plastic tubes and things like that. And that's why we found now more easily plastic tubes. But uh, I'm not sure that in 100 years that the plastic tubes will be still uh, in good shape uh, in comparison with those tubes. <laughs> but uh, uh, those tubes are quite uh, cheap. Uh, they are really not expensive uh, in most cases. So you have all sizes. Huh? Um, you have in uh, Europe, you have two main uh, tw uh, 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 companies that make that. You have Keramo, Steinzeug, and Eurotop. So, but you can also uh, use that, uh, use other kind of tubes. Huh? Um, you, you can experiment. Uh, the area that the round tower covers, it's really a circular around uh i guess we observed also that the cheap like it very much because i had one guy that went to my workshop and he put it around tower in the in the back of his uh, yard or garden and uh, his neighbor had cheap and then they went uh, close to his uh, garden uh, close to the tower always and in the past they they never went there <laughs> they, they they were not so much at that place and since he had put that tower the cheap are always coming uh, close uh, to the tower so it's like they feel that energy yeah? uh, probably and they they probably like it or maybe it's because the grass is better uh just that maybe or it's also the energy because sheep's wool it's also full of spirals it's like really antennas the sheep's wool where where the sheep is laying in the in the in the prairie you will see that just close at uh, the sheep like to sleep or lay at the same place in the prairie in the meadow and you will see that just around the grass is growing a lot better. Uh, ju ju just around where he, he lays uh, down. Uh, uh, I observed that already with my own sheep. And um, uh, so we can see that. And it's also very good uh, wool uh, to cover uh, the plants or to protect the plants with. Uh, and at the same time, it has that antenna effect too. Uh, so uh, continue. Ah, yes, it will have also more 
uh, uh, a bigger radius of influence to the north than to the south, but it's indicative, but the, the effect is more circular. Huh? Uh, I will show you here. You see on the right how I see the, the, the energetic field of a round tower. Uh, I, I see it more la, 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 like this. Uh, it's like a connection between the earth and the sky and the cosmos. And uh, it's like an egg shape form, uh, area form. Now, in reality, it's close to an egg shape or a circular form. Uh, um, sometimes when we take dowsing rods, it looks like a clover form but on plants uh, uh, in fields when we measure the the yields it's more a circular form or egg form huh? um, so we can we can use install the round tower uh, just to one or we can also put two now if you put two then i would say i would put them um in north south direction i will not put them like on that drawing now i i changes my mind about this this because i, I did uh, some experiment but my idea um, of that picture on the right is that i was thinking a, a, a cathedral it's uh, with two towers and a church is one tower and a cathedral is more powerful it's more radiating than a, a normal church and then I was thinking maybe if I put two towers, uh, the, the, the thing is that I was thinking, how can I increase the energy of a tower? And then I had that idea to put two towers. And then I was thinking about the cathedrals. And then I say, yes, uh, uh, for sure, it will work like this. And then my first experiment, I put it east-west, like you see on that image. But in reality, when we look at a cathedral, the the building is uh, mostly built at east west but the two towers are north south direction so now i think it's better to put north south direction so we will need and and um, i had just a workshop with uh, flemish uh, people from uh, from belgium uh, from where i'm uh, origin and uh, there was a guy he he, he really knew uh, a lot and he told me that um, one side of and when you have a cathedral, you have one tower is a feminine energy and the other tower is masculine energy. And that it will even work better in that communication of the energies between uh, the earth and the cosmos. So maybe uh, we have to experiment that. And one is then more in the north uh, and, and the other more, more in the south. Huh? So we, we will, so one uh, north is more cold and south warm uh, I mean, we can find a lot of different symbolism in that too so i give uh, on top uh, i i call it the the church model or the cathedral model <laughs> uh, 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 and to give an idea uh, uh, the area of influence the the when you just use one tower i say that if it's one meter 50 high um it will have an influence around 15 to 30 meters maybe more like we saw uh, with the first example it was even 60 meters influence a double uh, influence huh? but i prefer to be careful and to tell you less than than too much and uh, than more but um uh so and uh I would say then around 10 to 20 times the, the, the high of the tower will be the, the radius of influence. But it's just indicative because it can be a lot more and it also can be less uh, if it's not well made or not well, uh, or because of mysterious uh, reasons that we don't know. Um, uh, because sometimes we don't see really results. It happens too, uh, uh, but we see more and more results over the years. So it's that we are on the good track, <laughs> probably. And um, on the right, uh, I, I believe it will like double uh, or 
increased by 50% uh, or even more or double the, the radius of influence when you put the two close together like this. Huh? Um, it's also interesting to put two because it's more easy to put two little towers than uh, one bigger tower. Like we see when we make a bigger tower, then we need the machines and everything. It's a lot more work. Huh? That's a technique that is very interesting for large areas. A farmer that has uh, uh, 50 hectares, 100 hectares, he can easily put uh, towers uh, all around uh, uh, and have a huge influence uh, all around. Huh? It's, it's quite cheap to make and uh, can have huge influences, huge effects for, for, for uh, decades. Huh? Uh, Basalt is only rock from from quarries, so it's 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 not uh, it's not very expensive, and can have huge effects. Here an example, uh, a picture of my garden again. Um, uh, but I guess what I want to say is that that uh, the round towers are, are compatible with uh, all other uh, techniques like the atmospheric antenna the magnetic earth antenna the pyramids the galvanic battery that we will see later basalt you can spread basalt in your garden and fields the igina spirals the lakowski coils so um, that are all kind of different energies even if some are similar uh, energies too, but um, we see that if we use them uh, together, we can even increase the effect. So it's uh, very uh, complementary. Yeah? Uh, it's like uh, so some people ask, ah, yes, but uh, what is the best uh, technique? It's like asking what is the best uh, light, uh, warmth, or, 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 um, or uh, a good soil? It's or the water. It's all important. Here we have, uh, we can optimize all the, those kind of different invisible energies: uh, magnetism, electricity, electromagnetic waves. Uh, that there are a lot of different invisible energies. It's not an electricities. It's not only just uh, electroculture or no electroculture no it's a lot of different kind of techniques and a lot of different kind of energies that are very complementary to each other we have also music that we can use i asked about music um, in archaeology they tell that the monks built the towers in ireland and one of their sacred uh, music instruments were little bells and it's like uh, the monks, the Buddhist monks in in in, uh, in, uh, in Asia, they have their sacred instruments or also little bells. You see little bells everywhere there. And uh, but in 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 the Christian in the Christian belief and and and, and in, in Catholicism, it evolved those little bells evolved through to through, uh, to huge bells uh, clocks that they put in the tower huh? so and and that became a church <laughs> and then you have a uh, uh, organ uh, uh, we have always the combination between sound and those uh, energy structures we we could say and so uh, i think uh, that's something uh, that's an idea I'm working on too. It's it's a make like a wind. Uh, I I make already wind chimes and that you find. But uh, you you have also things that it's like a cord uh, that you can put in the garden at a certain length, and then with the wind it makes sounds. It's like the wind blows through your guitar and it makes sounds, and uh, so you can have like this certain sounds. And uh, probably the towers uh, make uh, or certain structures will, through the wind blowing through it, will uh, uh, create like certain frequencies, maybe maybe infrasound frequencies, like um, like the elephants communicate uh, with the elephants. We we see their big ears and we think, oh, they will have big ears to hear. In reality, they hear through their feet. They have big foods 
and they feel the vibrations and they 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 listen through their feet and uh, and uh, and the, and the vibrations of their feet and the infrasound uh, can travel a very uh, long distance through the earth and uh, maybe the the round towers uh, maybe we think it works above the ground but maybe it works uh, uh, below the ground and through the earth that's maybe why the the roots of the plants grow through to the to the round tower because they feel through the earth that that energy or that energy coming from and in the images of uh, phil callahan in his books he he showed also he speaks about magnetic monopoles uh, uh, that are uh, traveling from the sun uh, attracted to the round towers and then uh, feed it uh, by the earth through the earth uh, uh, to, 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 to the plants so uh, maybe there, there is something to discover uh, yeah so we continue what uh, phil callahan discovered too is that um, and paramagnetism is not only a, char a characteristic of um, material, but it's also uh, the form of the material that will make it more paramagnetic or not, that can increase that effect. And when he took a cylinder of a certain material and he put it like on the image on the white, uh, suspended on a wire, like you could have a magnetic needle, uh, for example, close to a magnet, the cylinder was not sensitive to the magnetic field. And when he put uh, a, a cap on it with a point, like a cone like this, then it oriented itself uh, through the magnetic field of the, of the magnet. So it's like the, the cylinder become uh, an antenna uh, when it finished in a point like this. That's very interesting because when we look at the work of the earth magnetic antennas of uh, Justin Christophe Lowe, he also finishes in a certain uh, point, uh, 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 certain antennas, uh, so uh, through the, uh, to the south, uh, to the south pole that is a north magnetic pole on uh, the south of the earth. So it's maybe to help to capture that kind of energy flow. Huh? Um, but here the round towers are directed to the 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 cosmos. Huh? So um, it's interesting. When we look again at the form of a tree, it's also a point like this in a certain way. Huh? Also interesting. So we can use also we can use it also for for, for our chicken uh, coop. <laughs> they like I have one also in my chicken coop or close to my chicken coop. Uh, they seem to love it, and uh, the rain worms, the earthworms also love it. I think. <laughs> and and here an artistic image uh, from an artist at the right. Uh, yeah. Here that's. Uh, a drawing I made uh, for my children with my children and they uh, colored it very nice. <laughs> ah yes, uh, in the past in Belgium, for example, where they breed a lot of uh, um, those uh, 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 those birds, uh, pigeons, um, they 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 made their coop of the pigeons mostly also around like this. And it were like uh, a churches, uh, like uh, church towers, those uh, the, the coops of the pigeons. But uh, probably uh, maybe they like that form or the energy in, in, in that kind of uh, a structure. So uh, that gives me the idea to make uh, one day a coop like this in a paramagnetic material. We, we could make like a, a tower with uh, uh, with a fence and then uh, make the walls with a mixture of of clay and uh, and basalt <laughs> and things like that uh, i feel uh, i that, that's one of my dreams to do that to <laughs> to make a, a a nice chicken coop like this i i'm uh, i think that could be really very interesting yeah 
Uh, here, a uh, round tower that I found somewhere that it was somebody that made a, a beehive like this. Uh, I don't know his results, but uh, it, 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 it looks uh, very interesting. And, and on the right, you see um, a little tower in cement basalt that was last year in my garden. I had one that was a little bit broken in my garden. And um, I've put it there somewhere. Uh, and uh, we saw a snail uh, going to the top of the round tower. They like very much to go on the top of it. And then it was uh, several days very hot, like 30 degrees in full sun. And I was thinking, wow, that snail will, will kill himself. He will die uh, because of the heat and the drought. And, uh, and then uh, like uh, one week after it, it began to rain. It was uh, uh, moisture and then it wakes up again and it went again away. <laughs> But it's like the snail was maybe uh, collecting a certain energy uh, on top of it, of the cone. My my daughter, she she liked uh, last years to, and now she is eight, eight years old, but last years she, she liked to play with uh, the round towers and the cones with snails. And then uh, she make like uh, races. She put uh, different snails close to it, and then they all want to go to the top. And then the, that she looks the, the 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 which one will be the first. <laughs> and uh, really, she 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 observed that. I learn a lot through my children <laughs> like this. But it's very interesting. Uh, they 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 see. The children uh, probably observe a lot more than we adults uh, of uh, the nature around us. Mm. Uh, that is a patent of Phil Callahan uh, that uh, 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 invented a way of measuring uh, those uh, radio frequencies that can be uh, received by the round towers. And he called it a photonic ionic load radio amplifier it's very simple to make huh? it's quite it's just a piece of cloth but not uh, any cloth it's uh, like, like a flax or like uh, natural fibers with uh, where you have that kind of natural resin around like on wool or like on uh, flax or like on hemp and uh, and that natural resin around is very uh, important because that makes the kind of antenna effect too. It's like on the wool, but it's also like a beeswax, for example. It's like uh, a, a lot of fatty acids and a lot of kind of, of uh, molecules that have a specific um, electrical properties of uh, that had certain antenna effects. And with this, he he uh, put um, a copper wire inside that cloth, and um, and then uh, he connected to an oscilloscope. This was an oscilloscope from the eighties, tachymeter. It's called uh, uh, that he showed in his book, and uh, and then he put that piece of cloth in salty water, in water with a lot of salt, and that increases he say that amplifies the that antenna effect and then he put that cloth uh, on the wall of a round tower for example and then with this he could measure the the low frequency radio waves uh, that's what he telling huh? uh, very interesting uh, one one day I, I I shared that on my um, on my social network. And there was a professor from uh, Strasbourg, uh, from a university close to where I live, that, that know about my work and me, and that uh, doesn't, uh, that is very uh, brainwashed about, uh, with, with, uh, uh, with uh, theories you find in all physics books that we learn at school. And, uh, and then he say, ah, it's not possible. That's completely not possible to do that because it's a very uh, long wavelength and you use a very little antenna and uh, physically uh, that is not possible. And he was a teacher in physics. Huh? Uh, uh, I just um, 
I just uh, put him away from my social network because I don't I have uh, uh, other things to do. But uh, <laughs> but uh, it's interesting because uh, Phil Callahan he could do it. Uh, he had even made a patent and he he says that uh, he was really a genius. You you have to imagine that Phil Callahan invented all those things since the years since the forties. We, we didn't have all that electronic equipment like today in that time and eh? the 50s and the 60s uh, 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 we, we they, 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 uh, they, they had a lot more imagination I think uh, also uh, to today uh, when you see uh, engineers and they, it's like they don't have any imagination anymore uh, or not or not or not all eh? and um, but I think uh, that's one of my dreams to make that again because why um, and I and I uh, I stimulate that that wants to make it to do it and to experiment and to tell us uh, the results because why it's very interesting because with that kind of equipment or measurement device uh, we could measure the 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 power of the round tower. We could improve the round towers and maybe improve uh, uh, the construction uh, to make it work even better. Uh, uh, and um, no, I, I have some a friend that is uh, working on the ID, uh, but I, I don't have news for the moment, but uh, it, it will come one day. Um, uh, and also he could measure any structure. He could put that on the rocks or of the wall of a church, for example, and he could measure with which frequencies it, uh, it, it was in resonance with. Or he could put that on a pyramid, for example, and he could measure the frequencies or, or on a standing stone or things like that. So it's really interesting to... Um, to make uh, uh, visible or or to measure uh, uh, part of those subtle energies uh, that we feel or that we can uh, or that we know that those uh, structures uh, receive and emit, uh, we can have uh, like electronic tool to uh, to explore. Huh? But uh, well, that's an idea. So. He uh, invented that or he filed that patent in uh, 1991, 28 September of 93. So you have all the details in that patent. You have the number, you have everything. It's really... Uh, so Phil Callahan was not just... Uh, not. Uh, he, he was really a science, um, science man. Huh? He, he did a lot of research about how electromagnetism uh, influences insects how insects communicate together with certain waves and how light and certain frequencies of light also influences insects he, he was really a genius and um, a, a real science man that really explores uh, new uh, new uh, theories and new uh, um, and, and made a lot of discoveries uh, so it's it's not just uh, an idea he really did it and and really show uh, a lot of 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 that kind of uh, research with with a lot of results huh? um, ah here another example of uh, that's a guy in uh, polynesia so the in the icelands uh, in the middle of the pacific oceans uh, from france um uh, that had huge results like here on radishes with a little round tower he built with cement for example uh, so you see that around the tower the radishes are a lot bigger than a little bit further away yeah. uh, that's uh, one of my friends Emerick with a huge uh, sunflower hat close to his round tower in his garden he saw really huge different results uh, since we put uh, that uh, round tower and then he wanted a second round tower now he had two round towers in his little garden and uh, he has really huge results um here you see also the picture on the on the below uh below on the bottom uh, left you see a leaf of a bean of beans you see really huge and, and that's my hand my hand is really huge huh? 
I, I have one of the biggest hands of all people I know around me. Yeah? Uh, uh, so it's really huge. Uh, I'm size like uh, for uh, for gloves, I'm size 11. Huh? Uh, in 10, it's too little for me, uh, the size of uh, 10. So it's really, when you see those leaves, it's really huge. Um, so uh, those, um, um, the fruit on top, I don't know the name in, in English, but uh, there were like, uh, it's like bushes uh, in the garden. Um, it's not raspberry, but it's maybe alberries or or some yeah alberries maybe. I don't know really the name in English, but uh, the the they they become also a lot bigger, like little ch ch cherries are really very big, and really a lot better taste also a, a less uh, sour, a less uh, uh, more sugar content too. We find also similar structures, not exactly the same, but uh, maybe when you see that uh, tower, for example, in iron, uh, you see that there is also a cone. Uh, the, so that's a tower in the north to, uh, northeast of iron, of Iran. Huh? Uh, iron, yeah. um, and you see also a cone shape uh, had uh, this, the same uh, angle. Huh? Uh, you you have also uh, uh, structures like this in um, in Afghanistan, uh, uh, quite similar, also kind of towers like this. Uh, uh, you have also structures in um, uh, that are uh, different, but uh, maybe a similar effect uh, in uh, Sri Lanka. You have Dagabas in uh, in um, in India. You have also uh, uh, strange uh, structures a lot. Uh, all their temples are mostly circular huh? and also the churches uh, churches you have a lot of different models all over europe and the world huh? some are square other are circular uh, you have all kind of uh, models but you have always the the similar uh, angles you can find back also easily uh, the 51 degrees uh, in churches huh? so we continue Ah, here again, that was one of the first towers I I, I built. That was on a place where I organized a lot of workshops in the past. And you see uh, that little tower that was uh, at the end of the of, of, of winter time or in the winter, that the grass was still green around the tower or stays green or grows a lot faster than around where it's yellow because of the frost and... and and everything yeah? and that's also that tower that i took the picture with the violet color light above it yeah uh, that was a friend a close up uh, all friends huh? <laughs> all electroculture friends uh, so that's a german garden a J a J a J jonathan last year he put a little tower in his uh, little greenhouse and he is a very passionate grower of tomatoes. And he had huge tomatoes last year like he never had. He had like uh, uh, around one kilo, 200 grams tomatoes and a lot of 900 grams and one kilo tomatoes um, uh, around uh, and his greenhouse uh, uh, with those little towers. Uh, also interesting, there was uh, one guy um, in the electroculture group. Uh, he he had two uh, tunnel greenhouses, and one uh, he ah yes, and the two were were uh, planted with tomato plants in springtime, and they had and one was had three round towers inside. So the the same as you see uh, on the picture, and made of cement. And there were like greenhouses of maybe 20, 30 meters uh, length uh, and uh, maybe three, four meters uh, or five meters uh, width. And um, they had three nights of frost. So you would think, yes, the tomatoes or all that, uh, three nights of frost uh, in springtime. Uh, and they were just planted. 
and uh, well, all the tomato plants in the tunnel without the towers, they all died. And all the plants in the tunnel with the round towers, uh, they survived. <laughs> and they, they grew well afterwards. So it's really a huge difference. And that's what we see is that the plants are really uh, much more resistant to, uh, to the cold. Uh, so that can be very interesting in, uh, in Canada too. Uh, uh and 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 you and we feel that too uh, one time i had um, somebody that felt like cold in the fingers uh, or when it's cold uh, because of bad uh, blood circulation or, or or just people or like that sometimes well when you go in that kind of energies then uh, you feel a lot better and you don't have that effect or less and you have less cold in the in the extremities of the body um, and you feel really like warmth inside. Right? You cannot explain that rationally, but it's like there is a, a wave or an energy that uh, increase your heat energy inside your body. Huh? Uh, I believe if we can heat differently our houses, uh, probably in the past it existed because uh, I, 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 I found back a patent of one century ago, and it was a, like an etheric uh, heating system that works with et etheric energies. When we look at electrical, at books about the theory of, of electricity of uh, more than one century ago, in most cases, you have always, they speak about etheric energies not only about electricity. They, they try to explain electricity with etheric energies. And then they, uh, from around the First World War, they make disappear the, the, the term of etheric energies. They don't speak anymore about ether energy. But uh, there was a, a patent where they, they made like a, uh, like a radiant uh, system that they put above the door or something and uh, that uh, makes heat or, or not really makes heat but uh, makes you feel heated <laughs> uh, because probably what i believe is that the temperature is maybe minus five but you feel 20 degrees you, you see it's it's uh, different uh, and the plants it's like um, it's like infrared radiation. Huh? You have between the rock and you, you have uh, maybe minus two or minus three in winter time. But if it's in the sun, between the sun and you, it's minus two. But you feel warm huh? uh, because it's the radiation that in uh, that when uh, it will um, it will be in contact with your body your body will heat up but uh it's it's but in between it's cold in between the sun and the planet earth it's cold but as soon the radiation of the sun uh go through the planet earth or through our atmosphere our atmosphere becomes hot but it's not the sunlight that is hot it's the reaction of uh the the our molecules in the atmosphere and our uh, our bodies huh? and well there, there is something like this and heat if we look or temperature is really about electromagnetic waves and the vibration and so when we measure temperature with with a thermometer it's not it's not the right way to measure temperature in a certain way. It gives an idea of the of how the fluid and the thermometer reacts, but it doesn't give an idea how you feel cold or warm. Uh, sometimes when you are when you are in mountains, I live in the mountain. Uh, it can be fifteen degrees and you feel like warm, like it's uh, twenty five or twenty. Uh, you feel good it and you are, and you put your your pullover uh, away and and it's okay uh but uh, uh it's 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 really not um uh uh temperature it's it it doesn't exist in a certain way uh it's it's uh, it's uh, 
a kind of uh, uh, radiation. Uh, it's a kind of radiation. We, it, it's not a mechanical vibration of molecules like they tend to explain us. No, it's like a, a kind of radiation. And maybe those round towers um, will send out a kind of radiation that uh, the plants feel uh, like warmer, even if it's cold, they don't uh, freeze us. And we, we have that also with uh, with water that is energized in a pyramid, for example, or energized uh, with an atmospheric antenna. It's that they freeze us uh, not so not so quickly. Huh? Uh, uh, it, you you can gain uh, easily uh, one, two, three degrees uh, before it freezes. Uh, so it, it it really happens something. Huh? It's a kind of energy and a kind of radiation uh, that. So with the round towers, in in uh, in agriculture, it's also very interesting uh, to increase uh, frost resistance in springtime uh, uh, in uh, in the grape fields and the wine yards, and uh, in the in the apple orchards and and uh, all. Uh, you're, it's it's really very interesting uh, to increase uh, the frost resistance. Otherwise, they use very Otherwise, the farmers uh, uh, use uh, like the apple growers and in the, and the wine yards. Uh, they use uh, uh, big, uh, huge uh, uh, wind turbines to to move the air uh, to to try to uh, to to reduce uh, the, the the frost, or they make uh, like a lot of uh, candles in their fields to heat up the air when uh, they have a risk of frost. So uh, uh, with the uh, round tower, it's a lot more easy uh, to do. Huh? And maybe if we heat up, it's just an idea now I give, but if we heat up a little bit the round tower, maybe it, it will it will radiate a lot more if we increase the, the vibration uh, with heat, maybe uh, um, uh, just an idea, huh? but uh, or with electricity or with uh, other kind of energies um maybe yeah uh, so we will continue <laughs> uh ah, yes again uh, uh, the mint in my garden i think i showed it already <laughs> uh, ah here that's a farmer uh that saw really good results on the rapeseed he he uh he built that round tower after uh, coming to my workshops and um, he observed in a radius of around 50 meters around that he could yield 3.7 tons compared to 1.7 ton uh, further uh, of the round tower. So it was really huge. It's more than the double. Huh? It's uh, uh, 3.4 would be the double. Huh? So it's more than double a yield of rapeseed uh, around the round tower. Uh, so very interesting too. <clears throat> um, uh, here you see with the cold, you see the snow was completely melted around the round tower, even more than around uh, the tree. Yeah? Or so it you see really that effect. Huh? Even if there is no sun, huh? if it's cloudy, don't have sun, you could say ah, it's the sun that that go on the round tower and maybe heats up and then radiates. No, there is no sun, and and the snow melted as much on the south side than on the north side. And so on all sides, it's very similar. It's really a kind of radiation around. Huh? Yeah, but it would ask more to explore that phenomenon. Huh? It would be very interesting to explore that. Um, yeah, again in my garden, same. Uh, here, that was in a little village uh, in Alsace, uh, where uh, I went by, and there was a, a church, very old church, with also kind of round tower also, and, and another tower close by, and uh, it was very strange. Uh, not strange, but it was uh, very inspiring. And then I, I walked a little bit around, and uh, like uh, 50 meters further, there was a rose uh, uh, against the wall, a, a, a rose bush. 
uh, for roses. And you have to know that this was in January. Huh? It, we had already temperatures of minus 10 and things like that. And here you have on the bottom a rose bush. You see the leaves really uh, like it was springtime, <laughs> like really green, uh, uh, like uh, like there was no winter. And then I went, uh, then I was convinced that it was the energy of that church uh, or, or those towers of the church that had that energy that uh, uh, um, that helped the, that rose bush to stay so so well. And then uh, I, I I was saying, thinking in myself, I need to find other rose bushes around further away. And I'm sure they will be not like that. And so I found uh, one, uh, uh, like one or two kilometers away. And uh, you see, and he was normal. Uh, he didn't have leaves anymore because it's winter. <laughs> and uh, it was a similar bush, but uh, with no leaves or yellow. Uh, he was like all the rose uh, bushes, uh, like at my home too. Uh, it was like this. Uh, but uh, so... Uh, maybe we are not sure it's because of the energy of the church, but uh, probably. Yeah. Hmm. How to make it and how to improve uh, those round towers. So uh, if you want to make little round towers, uh, I I propose cones like this, or you can also make cones uh, different ways um, to use as a mold. Uh, and then I put the tubes like you see on the bottom left. Uh, I put like plastic tubes uh, on the cone like this. Um, you can put a plastic uh, uh, a paper uh, on in the cone uh, to prevent the cement to stick on the cone, for example. Um, and then you put uh, oil on the on the walls of the tube and the cone, uh, so it's more easy to. Uh, to uh, take away uh, when you take away the plastic uh, when the cement becomes hard. And, and so uh, I, I do a mixture of um, around 40-45% uh, of, um, of cement of good quality. I take the best quality I can find. Why? Because in the low quality cement, they put a lot of waste products in the building industry. They even put radioactive uh, waste in, inside. <laughs> in France, they do that. So <laughs> in, 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 in Canada, I don't know, but uh, they, they, uh, our corrupt governments are able to do a lot of things like that. So, <laughs> so we, we need, it's better to use the best quality. It's not expensive cement, so uh, it, it works well. And then you use uh, basalt. Uh, the basalt you use, uh, you you have to know that the round towers of of Ireland they are like uh, in um, when you measure with the device of Callahan the the paramagnetic uh, characteristics, it's around two three hundred micro CGS. So when you find basalt, mostly it's uh, in any shop, it's it will be a thousand micro CGS or a thousand five hundred or 2,000 or 3,000 or even it can be 5,000 or 9,000. So uh, almost any basalt will be okay to have to make a tower. It doesn't need to be very high in paramagnetism. Huh? If it's paramagnetic, it will already work. Uh, if you want to use the basalt to spread on your soil, then it's better that it's higher in paramagnetism. But uh, for to make a tower, it, it's uh, almost any basalt will will have uh, effects, uh, but uh, the towers I make, where I show all those great results, are made with very high paramagnetic basalt. Uh, but uh, uh, you cannot find it uh, all over the world, so you can use the basalt you can find uh, closely uh, uh, to your place. Uh, Everywhere there are volcanoes in the world, almost so uh, you can find uh, the kind of rocks uh, like this everywhere. 
And then I do the mixture and I just uh, fill uh, the tube, um, the tower, and then after after uh, two or three days, it's uh, it's uh, finished and it dry ups and um, you have a tower. Um, now to increase the effect, we put also since a few years um, a, a, a quartz crystals inside. I put one uh, quartz crystal also inside. Now, the basalt itself is also made around mostly 40 to 60 percent quartz. So there, there is already quartz crystals, but they are like in powder or sand uh, uh, particles, so very little. Um, but I, we, we put uh, a quartz crystal like, um, uh, like a finger or like a, a little quartz crystal. The quartz crystal doesn't need to be uh, of the highest quality, of the best one. Uh, you, you don't need to put a beautiful quartz crystals because uh, a normal quartz crystal, uh, it's, it's okay uh, for, for the work. Um, uh, the idea also is that quartz, when it's, it's, uh, uh, when it's under pressure, it creates piezoelectricity maybe maybe it will increase uh, the effect of the tower uh, we see that with those little towers we have huge effects maybe even more than with the big towers uh, so um, uh, it's with those towers that we have those uh, huge uh, sunflowers and things like that um, so, since we do that um, and then we put also a spiral so you you see on the in the picture on the top left on the bottom right you see uh, spirals in the like uh, close to the towers in my uh, in my in my workshop. Well, um, uh, we put a, a spiral like this made of copper uh, or aluminium or iron, uh, you can made of different metals, but the best will be copper or aluminium for, 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 for this application. Um, and, uh, you put, uh, the, and we, we put, I, I put the quartz crystal inside the spiral, uh, um, and then, uh, the spiral, we will see that in the next presentation, the effects of the spirals is also very, very interesting. Um, it's not any spiral. It's a spiral like the snail shells, uh, like you, like I showed you a snail that went on the tower. So it's like nature shows us that uh, spirals and the tower work well together. <laughs> and um, and so uh, with the spirals and the quartz crystal uh, together, we had really uh, huge results. All people that feel energy feels that it really increases much uh, the, the, the energy field or the effects. So it's quite, like you see, it's quite simple to make. Uh, you can also make huge uh, towers like this. Uh, uh, I didn't do uh, it uh, like one meter fifty like this because uh, you could not uh, uh, transport it. Huh? But uh, if you make it uh, locally, you could use, use a, a, a plastic tube and just fill it with uh, with cement and and your rock, and then put again the plastic tube away, and you can make a lot of towers like this if you want. And your fields, it's just like you make a a pole to build a house or to build a, or to build a fence you also use sometimes cement and things like this so it's as simple as that uh, sometimes people ask to put iron inside or uh, rebars or things like that i would not do that i don't feel it really good uh, if i don't think it's a good idea to i don't think it's a good idea to um, combine iron sticks uh, with uh, that kind of towers but maybe i'm wrong uh, but um, i don't feel it really well to do that um, but it can it's like the poles uh, like uh, yes in the building when they make uh, uh, iron uh, uh, when they make um, a pole a pole with uh, cement and iron inside 
it doesn't necessarily work like a round tower. Huh? So I don't feel maybe it neutralizes the, the, the good energy effect, maybe not something to test. Huh? Um, <clears throat> so we have also to follow our intuition huh? uh, that, that gives us also a good idea of what an, our feeling uh, or ask to people that feel energy, uh, how they feel it. Huh? So that there are different uh, sizes, different models um, uh, you'll find on my internet site. If you want to support me on my internet site, I, um, I sell those cones, those molds to make it more easy to make uh, uh, the, the head of the tower, those cones. I, I made also make also those little towers that are very good for the gardens and also inside uh, it works also in inside uh, gardens but i has important effect it's it's interesting even if you put it inside that it's connected with the plant through the earth if it's in a pot or a, a garden uh, pot or a raised bed it's connected to the earth through the earth to the plant uh, so because probably the energy goes also through the earth through the plant and, and from the round tower so it's i think it's uh interesting important to do that like this yeah um yeah so i i have two sizes of round towers like this i have uh, little ones of 26 centimeters and i made also of 52.5 centimeters ah it's not exactly on one millimeter um, exact, uh, but it's uh, the idea it's to make the size of a royal qubit because uh, I observed uh, like uh, for the Lakowski coil, for example, we see that when we make it in the royal qubit length, it works a lot better. Uh, also, we can find the royal qubit in the churches as a secret length in the architecture in the sizes uh, so it's a very old also in the pyramids uh, it would be interesting to explore the sizes of the round the original round towers that we see also a relation with the royal qubit but uh, we we make uh, so those um, round towers uh, the size of the royal qubit so maybe it can be interesting to multiply that size when you make uh, bigger ones to be uh, like a uh, harmonic of it uh, uh, it's an idea you can also put extra pozolan that this is a kind of lava rock uh, with a lot of um, with a lot of air inside and uh, this uh, I feel also quite good. I'm experimenting with this uh, this year. It's like it increases a uh, kind of radiation of the round towers um, and the spirals and crystals like uh, we told. Uh, yeah, I will look next. Uh, so we are already at the end. <laughs> Uh, but there is much to say. Uh, we we will surely uh, discover even more about it. But you see, the end is the. This was the fifty one slide. I even didn't do it by purpose, but I observed it that this is one fifty one, like the fifty one degree angle, and this is the fifty second slide. <laughs> so. Uh, this is a uh, sunflower in my garden, uh, nice one. And uh, so I'm I'm making a little book about, I have already like uh, more, more than 30, 40 pages uh, about the uh, round tower that I'm uh, making uh, that will be translated to. Um, uh, so I hope to be able to bring it, to publish it uh, this year. But otherwise, you have already this presentation, and uh, and and we will uh, see also more and more <clears throat> um, testimonials and uh, and and a return uh, feedback from all the people that will uh, participate to build uh, round towers and experiment with. Uh, you will see, 
even the first year you do that, you will see effects are quite uh, are quite quite rapidly. Yeah. yeah. So thank you very much. I hope it was interesting and that you all learned a lot. I have even Irish farmers that came uh, uh, to to my place uh, to learn about the round towers and and that uh, discover their own round towers. That makes me very happy, and uh, that 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 sounded me also samples of the paramagnetic rock. Uh, uh, um, I think we will really uh, discover a lot more in the coming years about those towers. And, and for sure, if we are all together thinking about it, uh, then we discover even more quickly uh, new things. So thank you very much. I, I hope it was uh, it was uh, inspiring and uh, that <laughs> So, and that you will have all very good results.